So fascinating work, groundbreaking work taking place not only in the labs but also on the wards. We can talk to Joe Rafferty and to Louise, who's one of the nurses here. Um, just tell us, you, you designed this place from the ground up, very much with dementia patients in mind. Yes, that's absolutely right. As we wait for new drug discovery, what we've decided to do is use leading edge design and build technology. So everything about here has been worked up with patients. They've made lots of the decisions, actually. But we've also used what, uh, what innovative research information we have to think about how we light the building, the sorts of colours we use, even right down to the design of the floor space. So everything is orientated around a very rapid assessment for patients, um, reducing anxiety during that period so we, that patients and their families can get the best information as quickly as possible and actually get on with the next phase of their lives. I think the other thing for me that's tremendously important about Just Culture is it's really important that it's, it's just for our staff but it's also incredibly important that it's just for patients and for their carers and their relatives. We can't have this set in different silos otherwise there's a real risk that we build walls rather than build bridges and this is about building bridges. It's about accepting that <clears throat> when people say well how do you how do you afford something like a Just Culture? Well, we do sometimes spend a long time and money and resource and heartache uh, investing in those defensive bits of work where we want to absolutely make sure that you know we cross all the T's and dot the I's and everything's absolutely sort of closed down. Um, I think a Just Culture says uh, that's probably um, a sort of false industry. Uh, uh, there are false benefits to be had there. The real benefits are to be had in moving right upstream, taking risk at a very early stage. You know, if something goes wrong uh, with a patient or a family, um, and it's clearly the organisation's fault, then I, I think we should say that. And we should seek to reach an early resolution. And we shouldn't spend hundreds of thousands of pounds on either side, feeding the legal system and all the other things that go on. I spend that money where everybody wants it to be spent, which is on patient care. And for me, the big message is we did very well last time. Uh, but what I want people to do this time is to really uh, focus on not just making sure the basics are right, and that's a fundamentally important bit, that I know Ray Walker will talk about, uh, but also to make sure that we celebrate the brilliant things we do. Um, this is your opportunity to shout out about how fantastic your service is. And everywhere I go in the Trust, I see some brilliant things happening, uh, organised by fantastic staff who are absolutely at the top of the game. Uh, now, unless we demonstrate that to the CQC, uh, they don't necessarily pick it up. Um, so I think my message is, Shout from the rooftops about stuff that you're good at because there's so much stuff that we're good at. And then, in parallel to that, make sure you've got the basics right. Do your housekeeping, get that straight. But once you've done that, let's go sell how brilliant we are.